Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to the second part of the chapter mirror. Yes, in first part, oh you missed the first part, no problem. The link of the first part is there in the description box. You can check that. And after checking out that first part of this video, then you come to this second part. And in this second part, we will discuss different ray diagrams. Very important ray diagrams. We will send the ray from different direction and we will see how this ray behaves after reflecting by the mirror. Let us draw it for you. Say, this is my mirror. Now if I ask you what mirror is this? Yes, it's a convex mirror. So, and we know that this is called pole. This is called, yes, principal axis. X, Y is the principal axis. This is called center of curvature. This is called focus point. Understood? All this we discussed in our first part of this video. Okay? Now we will send rays from different direction and we will see how this ray behaves after reflecting by the mirror. Yes. So, now if I ask you from which side you will send the ray? Obviously from this side, this side. Because we cannot send the ray from this side. Because this is the back side of the mirror. What is the benefit of sending ray from this side? So we will send the ray from the front side. This is the front side. Got it? So first ray I am sending. Number one. Okay. First ray I am sending from this direction. This ray is parallel to the principal axis. Got it? Again I am repeating. This ray is parallel to the principal axis. Fine. You will see that after reflecting from the mirror, this will go this direction. Fine. Now if you produce it, you will see that it is coming to this point. That is focus point. Yes, in this way it will diverge. Now, second ray I am sending here towards pole. Got it? You will see that after reflecting by this mirror, this ray will go this direction. Okay? How? By making equal angle here. Yes, this angle and this angle will be equal. So first we saw parallel, it will go this way and if you produce it, it will match the focus point and the second ray I am sending to the okay where pole how it will go it will go the same way that this angle and this angle will be equal now I am sending another ray and we will aim that ray towards its center of curvature this is the center of curvature so I am sending a ray so that it meets towards center of curvature. Yes. You will see that when this ray is going to the this way so that it goes to the center of curvature you will see that the reflected ray will come from the same path. If this ray is going and after reflecting same way it will get back. Understood? This way it will go and this way only it will come back. If you aim the center of curvature. See, I am aiming center of curvature. Got it? Now, if you said another ray, aiming the focus point. Understood? The way we aimed center of curvature, now the same way you aim focus point. So, see, here I am aiming focus point. This is my focus point. I am aiming like this. Okay? In that case, you will see that after reflecting by the mirror, that will come parallel to the mirror. Sorry, parallel to the principal axis. Understood? So, first we send parallel 
that will go diverge but you will see that if you produce backward you will see that that is coming to focus point number 2 if you send a ray to the optical center then by making same angle they will pass if you send another ray by aiming the center of curvature by the same direction or same path it will come out and if you aim focus point like where I am aiming focus point you will see that after reflecting by the mirror it will become parallel to the principal axis now same rays will send for a concave mirror let us draw a concave mirror first this is my concave mirror ok now this is the optical center and this is called yes principal axis which is xy is the principal axis fine now this is called center of curvature and this is called focus point so like the previous mirror the first ray I will send parallel to the principal axis this is parallel to the principal axis first ray ok and you will see that after reflecting by this mirror that ray will pass through the focus point yes see it is passing through the focus point in this way got it number 2 if you aim the optical center ok you are sending the ray by aiming the optical center then you see that after reflecting by this mirror by making same angle it will come out understood like yeah the previous mirror convex mirror the same way it will come out now you have to pass the ray through the focus point I am sending the ray number 3 I am sending the ray through its focus point see ok if you send the ray to focus point you will see that after reflecting by the mirror that will come become parallel to the principal axis like this yes see this ray is parallel to the principal axis understood now if you pass another ray through the center of curvature I am sending another ray through the center of curvature see when you are passing a ray through the center of curvature after reflecting by the mirror that will get back from the same path yes it is going like this since it is going through center of curvature it is going like this and after reflecting it will come from the same point this is number 4 understood so when the ray is parallel after reflection through the focus point and number 2 when you are sending the ray towards center of curvature sorry optical center then by making same angle it will come out Number 3, when a ray you are passing through focus point, then after reflection, it will become parallel to the principal axis. Number 4, when the ray is passing through center of curvature, yes, then after reflection, it will come out by the same path. Okay, see this way and this way is going. Understood? So, you must practice these diagrams. And we will meet in the third part of this chapter called mirror. Okay. Thank you.